Hey guys, just wanted to um, go over the writing prompt here with you, go over this reading assessment with you before you um, take it in our next class. I'll be able to answer any questions you have um, at the beginning of our next class, but I just wanted to kind of cover the bases with you here. So remember, whenever you see a, um, see a writing prompt, you know, one of the things that you need to be thinking about is claim, reason, and evidence, okay? Those three things. So, like, you need to figure out, okay, what am I basing my claim on? Um, you know, what question am I answering to make my claim? What is my claim going to be? Um, and then, ultimately, how am I going to support that claim with reasons and evidence? So, what I've highlighted here um, is... Is, is really the prompt, is the essence of the prompt. Write an analysis comparing how the two authors address a related topic or issue. So you're going to see a prompt that relates two different issues. So for the practice assessment, um, I'm going to let you choose whichever ones that you'd like to do. You could focus on the ones that, you re that your group read. You could focus on ones that another group read. I'm not sure why you'd want to, but if you wanted to, you could. Or you could, um, I, I've, I've left with our substitute teacher, um, some copies of a second text um, similar to the one that we looked at with the Berlin Wall speech. Okay, um, it's it's a it's a later speech, Reagan's Berlin Wall speech. So uh, you could you could do that pair, but you, most of you will probably choose to do your own pair. So when we look at um, the the prompt, is asking us to compare how the two authors address. A related topic. So they either address the topic similarly or they address the topic differently. Um, so that's that's really going to be your claim. Um, so I'm going to write in here, I'm going to start with, uh, you know, these two authors. If this was a longer piece of writing, I'd do an elaborate introduction. But it's not a long piece of writing. This is a it's it's a short essay, so it's testing reading skills. So these two authors, blank and blank, blank and blank, both address the topic, or I could say they address the topic in uh, similar or different ways or similarly or differently um, however you want to phrase that okay there's your claim so once I got my claim in there that answers the prompt I got to start thinking okay what are the reasons that I'm going to use to support this um, well it's telling me that I need to include how the author connects ideas events and or individuals to reveal their central idea along with the comparison of how each author employs specific rhetorical devices to emphasize or clarify key ideas. Um, so what I'm going to have to do, I'll, I'll start with my first reason, and I'll get into the first author, or I would actually probably use their name. I'd say, you know, author A, um, you would use their name. Author A connects, maybe they connect ideas and individuals, or maybe events and individuals. Individuals um, to reveal their central idea blank, you know, what is their central idea, while author B connects, uh, maybe they do it differently, or maybe they you know, maybe they both do the same thing. So you would say both authors um, connect events and ideas to reveal their central idea. Author A's central idea is blank. Author B's central idea is blank. That's how you would do it if it was similar. I'm going to show you how to do it if they're different. Author A connects events and individuals to reveal their central idea blank. While well, author B um, connects ideas and events to reveal their central idea and then, you know, what is their central idea? Um, so this is my first kind of reason why I feel like these are different approaches to addressing the topic. Um, so that's, you know, my reason number one. I'm going to put a comment here, okay? Reason one uh, to support my claim right here. Claim. 
Uh, reason two, I look at my second thing that I need to include, a comparison of how each author employs specific rhetorical devices to emphasize and or clarify key ideas. Um, you know, maybe author A employs, uses, um, makes use of, author A employs, um, what are a couple different ones we could say? Alliteration and repetition to help emphasize their ideas, whereas author B um, makes use of, I don't know, figurative language and um, and anaphora. A lot of you looked at anaphora in your speeches, okay? Um, to clarify their points. You know, and, and you need to think about exactly what you're saying. Like these, these, this is kind of your second reason for, for why they address the topic in different ways, how they address the topic in different ways. Uh, you may end up um, saying that they're pretty similar in the way they do it. And maybe they, they both use anaphora. Maybe they both use illusions. Who knows? It's up to you to decide, but your claim and your reasons have to reflect that. So combined, this is acting like a thesis, okay? It's kind of long and complex, but it covers all the bases that our, our rubric is asking us to follow. So this is kind of where we get into the meat, okay? So on our rubric, um, there are two things that are really important in the rubric, expertly and insightfully um, showing how the author makes connections between ideas, events, and individuals to reveal their central idea, and then also expertly and insightfully comparing how the authors employ specific rhetorical devices to emphasize or clarify their ideas. So you've got to, you know, now that we've kind of spelled it out in our introduction, what we're going to say, now we have to say it and we have to use strong evidence to support that. So your first body paragraph might look something like, um, you know, in, what am I, I'm trying to make the point that they connect Author A connects events and individuals to reveal their central idea. Um, so I might say to begin, author A, again, you would use their name, um, connects people and, or I'm sorry, I said ideas, ideas and events to reveal their central idea. I might not restate it again right now, exactly what the central idea is, just because um, by the way, I'm watching the Indians against the, the Blue Jays and the Indians just scored to go up 4-0. Nope, sorry, 3-0, go Tribe. Um, lost my train of thought. The reveal their central idea. Um, I'm saying this a little bit differently than I did up there. I'm not just repeating it verbatim. I have to prove this now, okay? Um, so I might say... An anecdote, which is like a short true story, the they use in their speech about blank helps make the point that da 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 and kind of get into how that makes a point that's related to their central idea. Um, this. Uh, you know, I maybe say later on in the speech, they bring up the idea that da 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 da. This helps the reader understand da 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 da. Um, and that's kind of where we're at. You want to do the same thing to support your ideas. You'll, you'll get into. Uh, author B, and then you'll get into kind of the rhetorical devices and giving evidence to support it and in your reasoning to explain it, okay? So work on that, do your best, and I will see you guys in our next class. Have a good day.